by carpers. Well, we've arrived at the lake. Uh, there seems to be a couple of lads on the lake at the moment. So I'm going to have a look round, see what, uh, see if any have come out, uh, see if they've got any information for me that maybe help me bank a few more. You know, because it is always good to uh, to ask other anglers on the lakes. You know, where it usually works. And as I've only fished this water once before. Um, which was back in the summer uh, a couple of years ago so I don't know an incredibly lot about this lake but we will uh, we will prevail and uh, and see what we can uh, see if we can have one out so but if you want a quick look at the lake this is probably the end that I'm going to go and fish because this is the deeper end I know that from past experiences and with the temperature at the moment in time it is only two degrees so it is pretty chilly so they're probably going to hang in the deeper water plus there's a lot of snags over here as well which i'm going to sort of fish to so yeah i will update you with more when i uh, when i've got set up and everything else hello carpers well another installment thing is i didn't have chance because i was late to the lake uh to make the rigs up um for you all to see but well as it's pitch black outside but uh, I will go through tomorrow when it's light um, all the uh, baiting up that I've done um, I'll tell you a little bit more about the lake um, the rigs that I've decided to use what pop-ups I've decided to use where um, you know and all the, all of the necessary information um, so now I'm just gonna chill out a little bit and play on my phone probably <laughs> but uh, yeah I'll go through all the rig setup and everything uh, using all the RJL stuff from hooks to boilies to, you know blah de blah blah all right thanks see you soon bye hello gaffers well uh, it's now nearly 12 o'clock at night and they I fed a certain area earlier and I didn't hear anything or see anything for quite a while it got started probably get about nine ten o'clock and it just turned on uh, the carp boshing over the top of me constantly uh, constant liners um, you know so I, I, I kept myself you know kept my spirits up and everything thought oh, that's a nice one the first lot of action I've actually seen on this lake first bit of movement by a fish and they were going probably for about an hour and a half over the top of me. Uh, big swirls, three or four carp at a time. Big swirls coming up on the top of the water. But unfortunately, I still haven't had a bite yet. There's a lot of liners though. Uh, I've just put in another kilo because I thought, well, if they've smashed through all of that, then they're, they're going to be wanting some more. So I've, uh, I've just catapulted in another kilo and hopefully catapulted it over a bit further over where I was as a you know the first lot of bait that I spread out over a, a larger area this time I've, I've brought it a lot closer uh, to where I'm fishing and well hopefully and it is hopefully that uh, they're gonna switch back onto that spot again and they're gonna come in and they're gonna take that little pop-up that I've got out on the bottom well, I'll keep you posted, people, and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. All right, folks, well, back in the bivvy now. So, I'll let's see what happens if you don't hear from me tonight. It's probably because I haven't caught anything. I'll be, uh, I'll be on in the morning. All right, well, see you later.